everybody, Indy meets Disney and we are at Universal Studios and what are we up to today, Katie? So we are at the City Walk here and we are going to give a try to the Chocolate Tucson Emporium. Um, we've seen, whenever we come to City Walk, we always see people walk by with these beautiful, extravagant, yummy looking shakes and I've always wanted to give it a try, so I'm excited for tonight's the night. Yeah, this place is always packed, always so busy, so we made reservations ahead of time to get in. So this is the day, so we're ready to go try it out and see what it's all about. So we're going to take you on this journey and experience it together. So let's go. All right, here we are at the famous Tucson Chocolate Emporium at Universal Studios City Walk. Super excited to try this place out. Been wanting to for a while now. As you can tell by the crowd outside the building, lots and lots of people are too. So let's go and check it out. Check out these shakes. Look how amazing they look. Top with all different toppings on top. Reminds me a lot of beaches and cream. Super excited to try one of these tonight. Look at this fudge. Doesn't this look amazing? All kinds of great different flavors here. All kinds of other great looking desserts as well in this case. This place is amazing. Of course, while you're here, please don't tamper with the milkshakes. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick look at the menu here. So some entrees, some chicken, some short ribs, some salmon, some more chicken here, some sole, fish, um, some wild mushroom meatloaf, sounds great, some beef uh, mignon, some New York strip, um, kids meal here, chicken fingers, mini burgers, some rice, waffles, and the flatbreads here, pepperoni, margarita, short rib, some interesting, forest mushroom, four cheese, barbecue chicken flatbreads. Uh, we got some more pastas, uh, mac and cheese, fettuccine alfredo, chicken risotto, gnocchi. On the back we have some br brunch, crepes, some flavors of those, waffles, all different kinds of those with toppings. So, um, Bill's Foster, chocolate waffle, sound good, French toast. Um, Patty melt, ooh, that sounds good. Banana and Nutella, chocolate brioche, country fresh, some quiches, all kinds of those as well. Those look great. What else we have over here? Let's see. So we have some appetizers, warm chocolate almond bread, truffle fries, Philly cheesesteak rolls, avocado bruschetta, pork belly sliders, tachos, sound great. Got some Mediterranean hummus, kettle chip nachos, nice. Fried zucchini, coffee and chocolate stout, chicken wings, baked brie, their croquettes, nice, sound good. And then we got some soup and salad here, some chicken salad, Tucson Miosh grouper salad, watermelon salad, lots of hamburgers here, blue plate special, teriyaki burger, a pub it up burger, cheddar bacon burger, brisket burger, sound good. Let's see, a Caesar salad, a superfood salad, French onion soup, my favorite, red Reuben. Cookman Shure, Southern Fried BLT, Fork and Knife, Tuna Melt. Okay, looking at the milkshakes here, got some great looking ones. We got a vanilla, a red velvet with a little cupcake on top, nice. Confetti Shake, Mint, Oreo, Marshmallow Crisp, a Rice Krispie Treat, a Hazelnut, a Brownie, a Cookie Jar with a Cookie, Espresso, Key Lime Pie, looks like a winner, a Chocolate Times 5, Strawberry Cheesecake, looks great. Okay, so we have just been seated inside the uh, Tucson Chocolate Emporium. Uh, what's your first thoughts? Yeah, it's really cool in here. Um, the atmosphere is very like factory-like, um, turn of the century. I don't even know how to describe it. I love the, um, the outfits that the servers are wearing. They fit in really well with the whole atmosphere. Um, we're sitting up on the second floor. Um, have a really great view of everything around us. So, what do you think? Yeah, it's a very cool vibe in here. Kind of reminds me of, like the Edison at Disney Springs, the vibe they have going there as well. Um, look at the menu at first glance, it looks pretty interesting too. Some interesting type of food items yes. on there. So, it's I'm a really long excited. Long menu too. Yeah. I'm really excited to try it out and see what all um, the food is all about and uh, we'll keep you updated as we go along. Great. For an appetizer, we ordered some potato are stuffed with white cheddar and truffle oil. They're battered with panko breadcrumbs, and then they're topped with this vegetable succotash, and those little pieces of fried pork belly, 
and it's served with that white garlic aioli. It looks like it's topped with that garlic aioli. And it looks like there's some hidden underneath each croquette as well. Okay, so we have ordered our first um, part of our meal, our appetizer. Those chicken, or the cheesy croquettes, right? Potato croquettes. Potato croquettes. Um, and they ended up being really yummy. Really yummy. They were a good flavor combination. Um, so they were, the croquettes themselves were really crispy on the outside. Had a nice creamy potato, like mashed potato-y kind of texture with cheesiness in the inside. Um, and then the succotash on the top um, with the pork belly and all of that um, garlic aioli made for a great flavor combination in my mouth. What did you think, Heidi? Yeah, pretty much the same. Uh, so I think if you just ate the croquette by itself, you just get just mashed potato, fried mashed potato flavor is all you get. Once you got that sacotage, a sacotage with the aioli kind of mixed in there, gave it a nice flavor. Yes. Um, so it was a nice appetizer, a nice start to the, to the meal. Um, so I'm excited to see where our meal goes from here. My entree, I'm going to try the chicken bursi, which is a boneless chicken breast. And it's covered in a white wine and a demi-glaze with some lemon juice, some shallots, and some fresh herbs. You can see those asparagus, and it's resting on a bed of Yukon Gold mashed potatoes. Alright, and for my entree, with the patty melt French toast. So this is Chala French Toast, a half pound house-made uh, patty, a sunny side egg up on top, this beautiful grilled pork belly on top here, some cheddar cheese, and then on the side it has some lyonnaise potatoes or fried potatoes as we like to call them. So I am ready to dig into this and try this out. Okay, so we just finished up our entrees, and what did you think of yours? That patty melt French toast was amazing. Not only did it look awesome, and a lot of times things look awesome, but they're always not so great. But this looked awesome and was great. Uh, that French toast uh, had a nice sweetness to it, but not too sweet. Um, and that patty was juicy and moist, um, which is always good in a burger. You don't want it to be too dry. Um, and then that pork belly, oh, that was so good. I got to eat even more than on that burger. That was so good. Um, but then I got some syrup to go on top of it, and I just topped it off to make it a, a great um, burger, I guess you would call it. I'm not sure. And you didn't eat it as burger it so style. Good. You ate it with like pork and knife. Knife and fork, yeah. yeah. But it was so good. I would definitely recommend that to anybody who wants to take on a challenge. That was that was good. Didn't care for the potatoes on the side, but the star was definitely the, the sandwich. Yeah, you shared some of the bread with me, and that chala bread, French toast, was delightful. It was so, so good. I told him that I could eat like an entire plate full of just that bread, so thank you for sharing. <laughs> and then my meal, the, the chicken that I had, ended up being good. Um, it was just very simple. Whereas most things here are very like fancy, elegant, and different, I feel like. Um, it was just pretty simple, but it was really good. It had good flavors in the sauce. Um, there was lots of chicken. I had three little pieces of chicken breast, um, or decent sized pieces of chicken breast. Um, two pieces of asparagus. I could always go for more asparagus. I love it. And the mashed potatoes were creamy, and they had like that good like potato consistency, like chunks of it, potatoes inside. So yeah, it was really good. Um, but wait, there's going to be more. Oh yeah. The big debate is what kind of milkshake should we get? So and they look amazing. So I'm excited. Yes, yeah, so lots we're of get. decisions. Lots of decisions to make about what we're gonna get. So stay tuned, and you'll find out. All right, here we go. Okay, guys, check out the shake that I ended up with. So my milkshake is the that mint milkshake. Um, so in the bottom, with the milkshake part. It's a mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I told her how much I adored Oreos, so I think that it actually got ended up blended with cookies and cream, like Oreos as well. And then on the top, there's Andy's Nuts, and there's this amazing Oreo mint chocolate chip ice cream sandwich at the top. And then it's got that um, just chocolate around the rim, that hard shell chocolate. I cannot wait to dig into this. Alright, so I have made my shake decision and I have went with the key lime pie. So it is sour cream ice cream, sweet condensed milk, lime juice, lime sugar, topped with a lime and a slice of key lime pie. So it looks awesome and I am ready to dig in and give this a try. 
All right, so that'll wrap up our time here at the Chocolate to some Chocolate Emporium. What do you think? Yeah, the experience was really great. So just to recap the shake that I had, um, that mint, I don't remember exactly what it was called, but the mint shake that I the had. The mint, I think it's what it The mint, okay. Um, it was delightful, it was so good. Um, my favorite part was definitely the like Oreo cookie they had in the top, like the two Oreo wafers in the top with the chocolate chip mint ice cream in the center. Perfect topping on top. And then the, um, the shake reminded me of like a really intense shamrock shake that you get from McDonald's, <laughs> but much better. Um, but the whole experience was really great. What did you think of your shake? So my key lime uh, pie shake, the key lime pie piece on top was really good. Um, the actual shake itself, I didn't get any key lime from the shake, which was disappointing. Um, the actual shake was good, just didn't taste like key lime at all, which is disappointing if you're expecting a key lime uh, shake. So um, would I get it again? Probably not. I'd probably try something different there. Um, but don't let that discourage you from trying it if you'd like to try a key lime pie shake. Um, it was unique. Like I said, the, pe the piece of key lime on top was good. The shake just was not my favorite. So that's where I'm at with that. Yeah. So this is a really cool place though. So not only is there a restaurant involved in it, but if you were interested in just getting a shake, um, there's like a walk-up line that you can go to just get shakes here too. Um, and just carry them around City Walk if you'd like to do that. It's always a really long line though. Um, anytime we've come, any time of day, it's been a crazy long line to get a shake. Um, but they're, they're delicious. Yeah. And then they also have like a little bakery kind of, not really bakery, I don't know. They had like macaroons store. and fudge and candy and chocolates um, and that kind of stuff. And there's also, our server was telling us a really cool story about like where the actual like chocolate emporium to some like family came from. So that was kind of a cool story. So yeah, have your waitress or waiter tell you the backstory about mm -hmm. how the tooth emporium came to be. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yep. And you do get to keep your little glass that your shake comes in if you do get a shake. You have to keep the little glass, kind of like um, uh, beaches, and cream. beaches and cream. You have to keep your little glass the same here, a very similar type of glass. Not to self, so. they are not dishwasher safe. We learned that the hard way at beaches and cream. So, yeah. But thank you so much. Is there anything else to talk about for this? Yeah. I think that's it. So, thank you so much for taking the time to watch our review of this amazing place. It really was phenomenal. Take a moment to like our video, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, we will see you real soon. soon. Bye, guys.